वेलकम फ्रेंड्स नाउ वी विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट थ्री डी स्केच फॉर फॉर एग्जाम सपोज वी वी डू वॉन्ट टू ड्रा इन मोर देन वन प्लेन इन अदर वर्ड्स द स्केच ऑफ दैट वी वॉन्ट टू ड्रा इज गोइंग बियॉन्ड द सिंगल प्लेन सो वी विल बी यूजिंग थ्री डी स्केच आई विल बी शोइंग यू फॉर एग्जाम्पल I am taking the front, front view, and I am making a sketch. Suppose this is my sketch. Now, as I have drawn it in a in the front view, it will uh, it will be on the front plane. I will be showing you. or uh, in a plane that is p- parallel to the front plane so now if i see it from the top plane you can see all the lines are lying in the front pl- in the in a single plane but in the 3d sketch i can change the uh, lines i can change the spline so that it goes beyond a single plane so i'm picking up this point and i am dragging it it here i'm picking another point from here and dragging it in different direction so now in the top plane you can see it is not as uh, from the top plane you can see it is not uh, in, uh, in the front plane anymore if i see it from the side you can see it's not in a single plane it's actually a 3d sketch now if i want to extrude it for the extrusion i have to provide a uh, the, the direction so i'm completing the sketch using the top plane in 2d sketch i'm drawing the direction for this plane for this uh, sketch to extrude out clicking on this plane i want to extrude it out it is uh, it will ask for the direction I click here now you can see the figure is uh, not a sing- uh, has not has not start from a single plane so i have provided the direction this is our 3d sketch now this is the sketch that i used to provide the direction of extrusion so i can hide any sketch or any feature i'm clicking the right click of my mouse and here is a an, an icon to hide the line i click over here over here and the line is uh, has been hidden so this is our uh, 3d sketch command now next is next is if uh, we do want to start a sketch from a plane that we can't uh, f- find from the from either from the model or from the three planes that we are we are provided by default then we can generate a different plane as well so we can go in the reference geometry and click for the plane now we will have to provide the reference for these planes for example we want a plane that is a parallel to the front plane so this is the front plane i have checked in here for the front plane now if i do want to make it a parallel i can provide parallel and in the parallel if it is at a, at a certain distance from the front plane i will be providing the distance suppose it is a uh, 50 mm away from the front plane but suppose i do want it in a different direction so i will be using flip offset 
it will go in the opposite direction it will be flipped so i'll be using in the same direction so here is a message fully defined it means that it doesn't need any other reference or any other constraint but there may be cases when it may need a, a reference for example for example if i am taking a plane perpendicular to the front plane so now let's select the references and constraints i have to select a second reference that's a second reference suppose i'm giving the top plane the current combination is not valid deleting it so again i'm taking the top plane taking it as a at a distance mm. okay this won't go in that way for example i want to take a uh, i'm deleting the top plane so, so uh, in any way there may be cases when uh, we do need uh, other references for the plane ninety degree. Here we do need a a three D sketch to define uh, the to provide the references for this uh, this plane. For example. I'm using a 3D sketch. Provide the references for this plane. For example, the plane should uh, go through this line. It should uh, be coincident through this line, coinciding this line. Now I'm checking for the reference geometry. This is the line, and the second I will be taking a suppose a front plane. No, now you can see it is fully defined perpendicular to the front front plane. I have taken it as a perpendicular to the front plane. It can't be coincident, or it may be. Uh, it can't be parallel as well it can it can only be perpendicular so suppose i'm taking a plane that is perpendicular to the front, to the front plane and going through this line so this is suppose our plane uh, the reference plane i've taken a third kind of uh, third plane but anyhow i'm taking a simple plane I'm deleting the line and the sketch, and the plane and the sketch. Taking a simple plane from the front plane at a distance of 50 mm. Anyhow, so this is the way I can take a different plane of desired uh, at a des uh, desired orientation. And at a desired uh, distance. So now, I'll be showing you. Uh, suppose I, uh, I want to draw a projection of this face on this plane. So I have uh, took a new sketch on in the plane five, and now I have made it as normal normal to the plane the area and now there is a convert entities there are two kind of thing uh, enti uh, options in this first one is convert entities clicking here if i click over this line and click ok you can see a projection of this uh, this uh, this edge has been produced here 
Now let me show you uh, yet another thing. This was the base of uh, the sketch. Suppose if I change the original sketch, I have changed this original uh, extrusion uh, sketch for this extrusion, this part. Now you can see the projection has also changed along with that. So it uh, perfectly mimics whatever is there on the original model. So this one is our convert entities command. taking a plane a reference plane or suppose I'm taking the right plane I'm going to the sketch converted entities I'm clicking for the intersection curve choosing the right plane Oops. I'm taking a new plane Oops. let me do it once again section curve now I'm taking a plane suppose this is the right plane I want uh, I want to see the cut sectional area of this uh, this model along this uh, the, the, on, along the right plane plane and uh, I want to make a sketch of that so I first of all I've chosen the right plane now I'll be clicking over this area face one I've selected the face I have selected this face as well and this face. Now clicking OK. You can see this is the cut sectional area, cut sectional lines uh, of uh, this this model. And accordingly, a uh, sketch has been generated for that. So this is the use of uh, intersection curve command. Thanks for watching.